hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. I am. Um, so, World Cup is over. Croatia lost. And I'm moving on swiftly, by the way. I'm not gonna... I cried about it slightly. And it's still hot, so I'm not gonna talk about it until I'm healed. What I am going to talk about is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo uh, and his move to Juventus. Uh, I already told you guys uh, last week about his move, his 100 million uh, euro move and how it's a big deal um, because he wanted to move because he specified that he wanted to move uh, the buyout clause of a hundred of one billion uh, euros wasn't uh, implemented by Real Madrid so it's like they're actually just giving him away for free to Juventus and Juventus are very happy with their patches um, so far, the the uh, the there haven't been any shenanigans or like uh, suggestions as to the real reasons why Ronaldo moved from Real Madrid to Juventus. Um, Cause it's kind of weird. You stick to where you're winning. Uh, but Ronaldo is saying that when he was being unveiled, he was like, "I'm doing this because he loves. He uh, he's doing this because he loves football, and he wants to. Uh, he wants something new." Uh, he, he was claiming that in Real Madrid, it had reached a point where he was in his comfort zone and Juventus was a new challenge and he wants to be the best and there's no competition between him and Messi. It's all in our heads, yo. But I know that there are some shenanigans behind Ronaldo's move. Um, I feel like, uh, like, uh, during... Like, the early months of the year, there was beef between him and and Fiorentina Perez, yeah, that guy over salary, refusing to increase his salary, refusing his agent to meet with him and stuff like that. And there's also the the issue with uh, Real Madrid refusing to pay Ronaldo's um, tax evasion uh, fine. So those two issues uh, could have precipitated this move but he says there's no beef there's nothing going on he just wanted a bigger challenge and rest and uh putting juventus on a world on the world stage is his mission now so let's see how that works um so now that he's moved everyone is worried like who's going to replace ronaldo i'm sure even real madrid are worried who is going to replace uh ronaldo the obvious obvious um suggestion would be neymar uh and he's been tied he's been rumored to be going like transfer rumors have been soaring even before he moved to psg like when he was still in baka you know, like he sh he might come to real madrid the real madrid uh people are trying to court him and now that ronaldo uh has moved the space for neymar and the 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 rumor mill is swirling around uh, around his move to Real Madrid, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen because he is too expensive at the moment, um, and he's only spent like one season in PSG. I think they want to see a bigger return on their investment, yeah, <laughs> a two hundred million euro investment before they can sell him out um, to someone else, to another team, to a rival like um, to a Championship League championship league rival uh like real madrid um uh, people have also suggested that mbappe could also move to should could also be a target for real madrid uh in this transfer season not going to happen mbappe is very satisfied at psg and is having a blast well Harry Kane. Harry Kane could have been a potential target, but he's just signed a new contract with Tottenham, and he's looking forward uh, to winning gold at then to winning games at their new stadium. Well, Salah, yeah, but no, <laughs> he just signed. He also signed another contract with Liverpool, long-term contract with Liverpool. So that's not going to happen. It's a list. Uh, uh, Dybala as well. He's not at the caliber of Ronaldo. That I can say for a fact. It's a long list of, of even Icardi is on that list, but none of them are at the level that Ronaldo was at and that Real Madrid would be looking to invest a whole lot of money on. So who that who does that leave us with? The top two contenders eh, contenders is um Lewandowski from Bayern Munich and Eden Hazard 
from Real Madrid. Has I even during this World Cup said Real Madrid was his dream. Um, there were also he also commented that he spent uh, a long time in Chelsea and he's looking to to like you know go elsewhere. And um, so most probably he is trying to get a deal to move to Real Madrid and um, as a possible. And now he has. A bigger chance because without Ronaldo they're going to be looking for ways to arm uh, the attack and he would form a critical component of that attack in my mind uh, he's a central midfielder okay no he's a midfielder but he plays central left and right and he occasionally doubles as a forward he's also a very good dribbler yeah <laughs> but he's weak defensively and he is weak uh, with aerial balls that uh, Ronaldo was I don't know if Ro Ro Ronaldo was not weak with aerial balls but anyway yeah and he's 27 years old so he's still at his prime and he's looking forward to winning uh, championship league titles and La Liga he wants to win a title <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he's been the backbone for Chelsea for quite a for over si for six years now, and um, it's gonna be a big blow if he does decide to move to Real Madrid. So we have Hazard and we have Lewandowski. Lewandowski is an amazing player. Uh, he is currently uh, the top scorer for the Bundesliga. He has achieved that title thrice. And he is the first uh, foreign player to achieve that title more than two times in a row. Um, the first one to do uh, the the only t uh, the first foreigner to do twice to win that uh, title twice was um, a guy called Anthony Yubra something. Yeah, he did that in ninety two ninety three. I was too small to watch football, and then he did that in the ninety three ninety four season. Uh, where he tied with some guy called Enrich, I think, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but now, uh, so last season, so Lewandowski is like a big deal in the Bundesliga, and he is the best uh, foreign footballer there. Uh, last season, he had 29 goals out of, uh, from 30 appearances, compare that to Hazard. 13 goals from 30 appearances. Uh, Lewandowski is a forward, mainly he's an attacking forward. So Hazard has a has the upper hand here because he's versatile. Lewandowski is just a forward. Uh, both of them are poor defensively. Uh, but Lewandowski is not poor when it comes to aerial balls. He has a... He... He has been pushing for a move to Real Madrid for so long. Like it started looking like he's desperate. And he's desperate because of the Champions League. He wants to win the Champions League title. And uh, he's saying like he cannot do that uh, wearing a Bayern Munich shirt. So so throughout this the, the first part of this year, so many rumors. He's been pushing for a deal, but a deal has not been forthcoming. And now that Ronaldo is gone, this is like the perfect opportunity for him to show Real Madrid what they were missing this entire time. Yeah. And uh, the only downside is that he's old. Like he's 30, he's turning 30. Uh, three years uh, younger than Ronaldo, um, so maybe he could be at almost his past his prime, you know. So maybe they might, but he, because of that age thing, he might not be as expensive as Hazard. I think Chelsea will only be willing to part with Hazard if Real Madrid give out like two hundred M. Who's going to give out two hundred M for Hazard? Okay, m maybe someone will. I don't know, but. 200 M, that's a lot of money for Hazard. <laughs> but let's see what's gonna happen. Um, Real Madrid are at a very, uh, at a, are, are, this is like a critical point for Real Madrid because people are desperate to join Real Madrid. 
they weren't desperate enough to retain Ronaldo and now they've lost their talisman and they're not going to be sure whether all this and these are not young players the guys who the only options they have at the moment are not young players so either they're going to come in like Lewandowski how many goals will he be able to score in La Liga completely different uh, system to Bundesliga how many will he be able to score before he gets injured or or before he has to retire because he's getting old. Hazard the same. <sighs> Let's just see what's going to happen. Um, I wish both of them would just join Real Madrid. And let's get it over with. Uh, I'm done with the story. I'm done. <laughs> um, anyway. But I'm still trying to dig up more that on why Ronaldo left um, Real Madrid. Like, I know there's something nasty. There's something behind cartoons and uh, i'm gonna find out anyway hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again later with more football news bye